this lecture is how to create a vertical equipment that is cracking tower cracking tower number c1101 select zone create another equipment number is c1101 okay 1101 document is created now this is cracking tower facing north direction this is foundation 2100 square and why this is nozzle specification in this tower they have three section a b c a b c okay now first create foundation square 2100 and width is uh, length is 2100 and width is 50 mm okay now i go to equipment select that c1101 click equipment go to primitives select square specify the corn 0 tab 0 tab 0 tab enter specify the length 2100 tab 2100 tab 50 tab enter the foundation is created now position the foundation click that box see the position where it is located but we need center okay zero zero minus 25 why we do means the measurement is start is from top of the foundation plate that's only the axis is exactly top of the foundation plate see this axis here here the foundation is created now cylinder so go to equipment cylinder click that center specify the diameter the cylinder diameter is 1413 1413 and the height is from here to here 14076 One four one three. Enter. Specify the height. One four zero seven six. Enter. The cylinder is created. See. <coughs> cylinder is created. Now. There is cone. Create the cone. Again, go to equipment. Click cone primitive. Select the 
bottom diameter is 1413 enter height the height is 280 enter top diameter this is bottom diameter this is top diameter top diameter is 1067 enter see the code is created ok next another one cylinder whose values are diameter is 1067 and the height from here to here 7849 again equipment cylinder click it 1067 enter and height is 7849 from here to here ok 7849 enter now the cylinder is created next cap this cap diameter is 1067 and the cap height is 200 again go to equipment cap click thousand sixty seven enter height is two hundred now click that dish change radius 106.7 because our diameter divided by 10 enter now full primitives are created next move to nozzles Go to equipment, create nozzle, now uh, take in reverse order, first to create M1, M2, M3, N1, N2, N3, ok, will you see, ok, first uh, nozzle is create equipment, equipment nozzle, create nozzle, nozzle M1 ok nozzle M1 here size is 457 but size is 450 it is not wrongly printed ok and see 450 height where is M1 here it is M1 whose M1 nozzle height is see this is section ok you uh, see from B to C means this is nozzle height M1 height this is B section ok you see from north to south or south to north 900 create to M1 total height 2316 2, 2 3, 1, 6. enter 
up value two three one six from here to here distance is nine hundred so nine hundred enter rotate 90 degree next m1 is created next move to m2 the size uh, m1 m2 is uh, both sides are same and the height also same create M2. Here it is. This is M2. The M2 height is one three double four one. Because of up value. This is up portion only. The top portion of bottom portion is down. Okay. From bottom to top, it take distance. Okay. Total distance is one three double four one. One three double four one. Okay. Next, the nozzle is moved from here to here, but it is located exactly in center point. But we move to center point to here. The distance is 900. See, the point to here is 900. This is south direction. 900. Enter. Rotate. Is it? Is it axis? Okay. Next. Next. Nozzle M three. Bore is same. Height also same. Create. The height of <coughs> where it located where it is located means. This is M three. The total distance two one dub five nine four two one five nine four two one five nine four. And the center point to down. See from this is cross section. Okay, you see this section section. A A K. The height is three hundred nine hundred. Enter. Rotate. Ninety degrees. Now M one M two M three is created. See M one, M one, M two, M three is created. Okay. Next, next nozzle N one, hundred. Nozzle N one, both sides is hundred. <coughs> Height. Where is N1 nozzle? Here is N1 nozzle. See this section CC. This is plain on section CC. The height of this nozzle is 838. Now the height, the distance is from here to here 970. Enter from center point to here. The distance is eight three eight. Okay. So we want to move in north direction. 
so change to north enter now rotate next nozzle and one is created next nozzle into 250 nozzle into both sizes 250 height here is nozzle into here c section b this is nozzle into the height is this is nozzle and two the height is height of the nozzle is 838 create now the up distance is 36 double one this nozzle from this side so west direction this is 0 west direction is 38 enter ok play rotation Three six double one one two three six double one distance is three eighty three eighty double one on side eight. 200 <coughs> and 3 ok already created okay. 200 here is and 3 here it is here is and 3 see this section B where is and 3 this here the nozzle height is 838 create now the entry is here the total distance is 4830 4830 enter next West direction is 838. This is west 838. Enter. No need to rotate. Okay, this is correctly located. Okay, created. Next entry. Entry is created. Next N4 50. Nozzle. Four already created. Okay, nozzle four fifty 
height you need height and for various and nozzle and for case and for so this is the section in a n4 n4 nozzle height is 838 clear the total distance is 21569 okay next Eight three eight. Not this. Eight three eight. Enter. Now rotate. Yes. This nozzle and four. Seven five nozzle and five one fifty and five height is this is nozzle and five the and five height is it didn't mention any height so assume this nozzle n one two height is Two not six. So compared to here, it is big. So you are seeing two twenty. Two twenty. Weird. The total distance is double to six eight seven. Enter. And rotate. Next, nozzle six. Nozzle six is hundred. Create. There is nozzle and six. Here the distance is thirteen three eight zero one three three eight zero one three three eight zero. And the N six height is seventy eight seven. Enter. Rotate. About Z. Okay. Using wireframe, play rotation. Next, right is the gene. Click that nozzle. Go to modify. Height is not given. N six seventy eight seven. Okay. Next nozzle N seven and N eight fifty. Nozzle N seven, N eight, and then N fifty. Nozzle N seven, 
nozzle N7 50 N7 and get a 50 N7 nozzle height is where N7 here so nozzle height is nozzle height eight three eight see from here to here eight three eight same distance create that is n seven here distance one seven zero six enter the nozzle total height is 838 east direction 838 enter rotate this is nozzle N7 nozzle N7 and N8 A. see the nozzle is give some angle ok this angle 30 degree how to give 30 degree nozzle uh, 30 degree nozzle piece first we create horizontally ok you uh, height is 1 3 whose height is 3 8, 3 6 double 1 and you uh, west uh, east value sorry here east value here seat east is from center to this direction only nozzle comes so from point to east where is 838 now we want to rotate ok how to rotate means just right click navigation select nozzle again right click contest rotate base angle is here rotation is 30 degree enter ok now N8 N7 and N8 50 nozzle 8 50 same height nozzle N and N uh, NA and N7 are same height and a various distance 838 create height is N7 N8 only here is N7 here is N8 here is N8 Four one double four. Four one double four. And yet is in east. This is east direction. Okay. Now uh, placed in east side. So east side. We have a distance. Eight three eight. We give eight three eight. Enter and rotate next now we want to rotate at an angle of 30 degree 
place the cursor in nozzle right click open fire wheel navigation select nozzle nozzle is selected again right click contest rotate select base 30 degree enter okay created next nozzle n9 and n10 nozzle n9 50 height where is n9 and n10 nozzle n9 here is n9 n9 same height a38 create n9 distance is 1706 n9 is in east direction so go 838 rotate next right click navigation select nozzle right click contest rotate select base point angle minus 30 plus 30 is in moon in north direction minus 30 is in south south direction okay again nozzle n 10 50 same height create the nozzle n 10 here distance is w490 it also located in this direction height is 838 rotate right click select nozzle right click rotate this point minus 30 enter nozzle n9 n10 is created now n11 and n12 n11 is 40 nozzle n 11 40 height n 11 here see it also same height 838 yet n11 distance is 9784 this also placed in now east um, to rotate 30 degree plus 30 minus 30 now i move downside because I easily get 25 degree okay place it down no, east okay 838 enter rotate Next. 
now this is nozzle n1 is 30 plus 35 65 select right click open power wheel select navigation click nozzle again right click rotate set base point minus 65 enter n11 is created next nozzle n12 50 same height create it's also in east direction n12 here n12 the nozzle is 206 sorry the nozzle height is 206 206 0 total distance is 226 enter it has some distance this nozzle and one two from here to here the distance is 250 it is located on east side 250 enter rotate Next, select that nozzle. Rotation is 45 degree minus 45 enter this equipment is created. Now there is one extrusion is here. Want to create a extrusion? Create cylinder. The base is zero. East is zero. Tap this is um, zero tap zero tap height is double seven five. Tap. From center point to here distance is 1413 half of the distance is 706.5 because of we need waste direction 705 706.5 
center specify the diameter assume 500 enter height assume height is 600 enter on the cylinder is created select the cylinder click extrusion cylinder okay. click here diameter is uh, five, uh, 500 500 4 height is 6 700 okay enter sorry minus 700 delete extortion click here for seventy five six hundred enter now rotate select it go rotate oriented Y is in north, Z, Z is up, Y, uh, uh, X is east, now uh, X is U, up play. Extrusion is created. After that, finish every equipment. Please save it. Control plus yes. Okay. Thank you. Hi. In this lecture, how to create a standard equipment? Okay. Go to equipment, click standard, standard equipment is open. Standard equipment is nothing but the pumps component like a cooler that they have already created. So that is called a standard equipment. In this lecture I need pumps. So I need to, uh, the pumps is already created but we need we give only measurement okay select see this uh, i need this pump okay overhead product pump p1502 a p1502 a okay I need see first select Aviva standard equipment click type there are so many type but we need pump center line pump see in this PDF there is two nozzle one is inlet and the outlet so there is one nozzle 
pick here this is one nozzle this is two nozzle this is also two nozzle okay and you properties first A, A indicates this is A indicates base plate base plate length is 1680 next B B base plate width here is width 790 next C C indicates origin base plate from here to here 200 D Total distance thousand eight twenty thousand eight hundred and twenty. <coughs> he indicates center fl from base plate here, here five forty. We have nozzle height. Nozzle height is three not five. <coughs> G G is suction nozzle. Distance is suction nozzle. Here N one is suction. N two is discharge. So this is suction. N1 is suction nozzle, so distance is 65. H indicates how is the diameter of discharge. Suction diameter. Suction diameter is hundred. This distance discharge nozzle J. Distance is 190 K distance origin to front origin to front is 228 L distance N1 no, nozzle N1 to nozzle N2 190 plus 65 here here so this is distance 45 click OK 
you apply click explicit position you origin 0 0 0 apply see the equipment is created standard equipment is created want ok P1502A we want to create another one we are asking P see 2 pump we need 2 pump we need P1502A and P1502B ok P1502B we, uh, we created P1502A we need same pump say but what we do means just copy ok or mirror ok select that equipment copy offset you copy offset number of copies 1 thousand apply close it and you change in hierarchy rename in hierarchy ok p1 p1502 b Okay. This is the standard equip uh, equipment. 